My name is Agbeve Sinti Imefa. I'm from Chito Awudome. Uh, currently, I'm an accountant working with controller and accountant general and uh, pursuing, to, pursuing to charter and also become a PhD holder to lecture. Yes, that's what I'm doing currently. I was at uh, Awudome Secondary School, SS1, going to SS2 when I got pregnant. Teenage pregnancy. I was 17 years by then. When I got pregnant, you know, I was with my grandmom. So after delivering the baby, I need to move down to Accra when the baby was about two years. Initially, I left him with the old lady, but things were difficult in the village, so I have to go for him. So I met FSP, you know, when I was at the verge of giving up. As at the time I, I discovered FSP, I was jobless anyway, and uh, what to eat was a problem. So the day I met one of your drivers, which is Michael, he picked me and we started talking. So I told him that, oh, I sell here, but I don't have any money, there's no food. I wanted some little capital, like 500 cities to start to sell again and all that. So he said, no, he will introduce me to someone. And uh, so when I met Mr. Usu, indeed, I told him I wanted to sell again. By then I was finding it difficult to speak the three language. So I was speaking English with Mr. Usu. Then he said, oh, you speak good English and you are young. Why don't you go back to school? I said, me go back to school? He said, yes. I said, daddy, who will pay for it? And how will I take care of the baby while I was going to school? He said, oh, you go and take the form so that you start from SS2. First of all, the remedial school, they paid everything. They paid for the remedial. In fact, they wanted me to go for two years. But in fact, I didn't joke with the support I had because I realized that God was giving me a second chance. I messed up and he's giving me a second chance. They rented for me. The, where I was, they rent a spy and I need... In fact, uh, I'm supposed to write Wayek on Monday. Sunday morning, my room got bent. After the room got bent, the SOS came in and got me a new room. When I was in, in school, I stopped working anyway. I was jobless before I even met SOS. So when I was in school, SOS paid for my son's school fees as well as mine. When I met SOS staff, Sheila, Mr. Usu, Josephine, Mr. Boatin, Madeline. The way they were relating to me, I realized that I have a family now and there's no way I'll disappoint them. After my first degree, I pursued my master's degree. So I have an MBA in accounting and finance from University of Professional Studies. So after the MBA, my intention is to pursue PhD. My dream is to be a chartered accountant first, you know, and be a lecturer and also mentor uh, other girls, you know, and also be a, a motivating factor for them. <laughs> <laughs>